Hello and welcome to another episode about Riven by Moss, the Bitwig extension which brings you lots of support for controllers. But this new version 5.5 comes also with a non-device extension. It brings you a simple but very handy MIDI monitor because I noticed Bitwig actually has no MIDI monitor and from time to time it comes very handy to have something like this. So what you need to do if you go to the settings you need to press the add button but the list is very long so I need to put that outside here a bit and here on the bottom you can see utilities and then there is the auto color utility which I moved down there also now under utilities before that it was simply named utilities and to prevent some confusion it's now auto color and there is also the new MIDI monitor extension and if you add that it's very very simple you just need to pick your input device which you'd like to monitor for example let's put here the complete keyboard there is nothing you can configure so we can close that down let's move Bitwig there and then you need to open the script console I put that on the keyboard shortcut but you can also get the console from here there you can say show the script console and there you see there is your MIDI monitor and now you can press any keys or knobs or send sysx and see in the output window what it's doing so let's press a key you see you get here a table and there it says the different bytes that are received so this is a status byte which is note down is in hexadecimal code 90 and the note off is number 80 so you see both the decimal number and the hexadecimal number which is also also pretty handy from time to time so same for the first byte so we see the node number is number 60 and the velocity was 94 when it was pressed and you also see the MIDI channel so this node was sent on MIDI channel 1 and you also get some readable text which says this number 90 is actually node on and the node is C6 and we can go on with this playing more nodes or we can also use continuous controller information which which shows you then the controller number if it's a known controller for example like modulation you will also get the name for modulation you will also see here we have pitch band and if we switch for example to let's say let's pick here the push 2 because push 2 can send uh, some aftertouch information so if I play a note here and press the pad more we also see there is polyphonic key pressure you can also monitor some sysx data to show that let's pick here the x station because it sends some mmc commands for navigation so if I press the play or stop button you will also see it's sysx data and you will also also get that information and you also see that my good old X station has a bug and the modulation wheel is sending data on its own that's already all that's to it but I think it comes in handy from time to time so enjoy and make some funky music <laughs> 